brass point. That way you shouldn't damage the coin too much. So you hear it and then pull them out, pop them out of the ground with your flat end. That's why I just locate it behind here and then pop it up. And again, I use the handle here to use it as a lever to pop it up. That's the theory of it anyway. So if you have it in there, put that behind it and then hopefully you just lift that right out of the ground. Here it is, yeah, using the brass rod. There it is, just there. So what I do now, I'm gonna bring my screwdriver over and then find the bottom, just there. Put it underneath the coin. Now, with this part of the screwdriver, I'm gonna use this as a wedge. Especially here, they've got this groove part here. So I just put that in there, stick my screwdriver down far enough, and hopefully we should pop it out of the ground. Sometimes I really get it out, and there it is, just out of the surface. Beautiful Queen Elizabeth coin with the kangaroos on there. I've got another target just up here further. Let's see what's in that one. Just locating it. Again using the Garrett brass rod. We'll locate it. Probably hear that sound. Now with the flat end screwdriver flat end screwdriver. I'm just going to locate where the coin finishes, which is just behind there. And what I'm going to do is place the plastic handle of the brass right behind where that groove is and let's pop it up and hopefully I can pop it out of the ground this time. And it should be here. There it is. It was in the dirt and I couldn't see it. There you go. That's how I get them out. Okay, so that's my tip on how to use the Garrett brass pointer as such, round it in to locate the coin and then using a flat screwdriver to pull it out. And hopefully you don't do much damage, as you can probably see there. Just think the birds have been over it. Bye for now.